everybody, welcome back to my channel. We are headed to Goodwill this morning to find stuff to resell online. I have my two daughters with me and my baby is very loud right now, so you can probably hear her in the background. But if you guys don't know already, I've been reselling since October, 2023. And I recently started a YouTube channel to take you guys along with my adventures. So let's get going and brace this weather together. So when I got to Goodwill, I started off in the men's section and I came across this Toad & Co shirt, but it had too much pilling, so I decided to leave it. I did find, however, two to three other men's shirts that I found to resell and I picked them up. Before I left the men's section, I took a quick stop at the men's swim trunks and I didn't find anything unfortunately. I was hoping to though, because last time I came to this Goodwill, I found a pair of Villebrequin, Villebrequin? I don't know how you say that, but the brand was Villebrequin vintage swim trunks. They were green and they had white and orange flowers all over them, but this was disappointing. Next, I went to the shoe section and these men's sneakers looks promising. They looked high quality. Brand is Bacco Bucci that they were priced very high. So I just decided to leave them because the profit margin wasn't there. Whenever I come across cowboy boots in the men's or women's section at the thrift store, I usually look them up, but these were too worn. This shoe was okay, but the next shoe had a black mark and I didn't even look up the brand. I don't even remember what the brand was, honestly. <laughs> Okay, look how cool these Vans collaboration shoes are. They were in excellent condition. I did not get them because they didn't seem to be reselling for a ton and they were marked up, but they're a collaboration with video games. Here I am in the women's dress section. I love the dress section. It's so much fun looking at all the different dresses. I'll usually start with the bigger sizes and work my way down to the smaller ones. I don't think I found any dresses this time. I did find a jumpsuit though, but we'll have to see. I'll have to refresh my memory when I go to the haul portion of this video. I spent quite a bit of time in the women's pants and jeans section. I came across these, which are vintage. I think they're either shorts or capris. I thought the butterfly embroidery was so beautiful. I did not pick them up, but definitely something to look at. Please tell me I'm not the only one, but every time I go to the thrift store, I come across so much Gloria Vanderbilt. I do not know why this is. It is so saturated at thrift stores. Every single one that I go to, Gloria Vanderbilt, Gloria Vanderbilt. So many pairs of jeans of Gloria Vanderbilt. Uh, so I don't really pick up Gloria Vanderbilt because it's not a good brand at all. I did pick up a tie day skirt once that has yet to sell, but here I am going through the jeans and I actually did find a few good pairs. Okay guys, this is probably one of the best thrift hauls I have ever done. I found some crazy cool stuff that will resell very well. After every item I show you, I will pop up a comp from either eBay or Poshmark, maybe even Depop or Mercari, to show you how much similar items sold for. I've been doing a ton of thrifting and I'm exhausted and I need to catch up on listing stuff. So this purchase, I was really excited about. This is a Steve Madden purse, which does okay reselling. If you can get it for cheap enough, it was $7.99 and it basically looks brand new. It comes with a little coin purse and it has gold chain and detailing and it has this suede like material in it. And I sold the, I saw these selling anywhere from 20 to $40 on Poshmark. And it's just this really nice purple crossbody purse. I thought it was really cute and I could not pass this up because it looks brand new. So that's really exciting. This green Steve Madden purse sold on Poshmark for $31. This item that is next, I don't even know what I'm going through. So this is all a surprise to me as it is for you guys. I, so they're not in order, <laughs> but this pair of shoes are from the brand, now I forget, Irish Setter. Never heard of it before, but these looked like really nice hiking, camping, outdoory boots. And I looked them up and they do sell brand new for a lot. And they did seem to be reselling for around $50 to $60. So I did pay up for these $15. Yes, $14.99. But they're in really good condition. They're a woman's boot. They were in the women's section. I have to check that. So it has a grip zone and ultra dry waterproof. So that's all things I'll include in my listing, but it's waterproof and then it's grippy on the bottom. And then of course I'll say it's hiking outdoorsy, but they're in really good condition and $15 into $55 is a great profit margin. So this was a score. These red wing Irish setter boots sold on Poshmark for $51. 
first bag done. But this was the smallest bag, so we have a lot more to go. This next item is from Madewell. I keep telling myself, I'm not going to pick up Madewell. I'm not going to pick up sweaters. I did do good this time. I told myself, no jackets, Kate. I'm not going to even look in the jackets section, and I didn't, so I'm very proud of myself because we're going into the warmer months, so I didn't look there. But this was actually put in the swimsuit lingerie section, and I just happened to see it, and I thought it was really cute. And what, I, what made me decide to pick it up was it has this really, it's just pink, and it's kind of like cotton candy, like a muted cotton candy color. It was $4.99, if I didn't say that already, and it's made of really, really great materials. So it's made of nylon, wool, alpaca, and elastane. And this one doesn't have any acrylic in it, which I thought was super awesome. It's just really cute and trendy, has kind of a wrap style. And I'm not sure how much I'm going to list this for, maybe $25 to $30, but I couldn't believe it behind. It was so cute, and with that material makeup, even though we're going into summer, I like to list all items all year round, but I do want to favor more to the season. This long sleeve Madewell shirt sold on Poshmark for $37. So this next dress is from the brand Maggie London, Maggie London, and it's a size four. So around my size, I might be able to fit into it, but I saw this design and I looked at how much they were reselling for and the comps were good. Can't remember, but I'll... I'll tell you guys at the end it's just really really pretty it's cream and then it has this beautiful flower print all over it so cute it's a v-neck i'm actually curious what the material makeup was or is oh it's cotton and spandex and then the lining is 100 percent polyester which lining usually is but yeah how cute it's like a midi length and I just thought this could be worn in so many different places with summer and spring coming up. And it was $6.99. All the dresses at this thrift store were $6.99 unless they were a more formal dress. This Maggie London dress with a similar floral pattern sold on Poshmark for $35. I did spend a long time in the dress section. That was the last section that I went to. And the whole time my daughter is saying, I want to go home. I want to go home. And I'll say, we're going to go soon. But I got to finish looking through these dresses. I got her an ice cream at the end, so she was happy. But anyway, back onto this item. I picked it up, not because of the brand. The brand is Loft, which not a great reselling brand, but it's a size 10, which is a good size. And it's new with tags. And even better, it's a one-piece outfit. It's all black, has ruffles at the bottom. And I think these jumpsuits were selling for $100 brand new. So I'm going to list mine probably 40 to 50 maybe even 35 But it has this really pretty belts that you can wrap around and it has pockets i think but yes it has pockets so there's a lot going for this and it's just this cute little black one piece and i'm excited about this and it's just i thought it was really really cute for the summertime this new with tags loft jumpsuit sold on poshmark for 30 dollars Ooh, so <laughs> i get way too excited all the time i know i hype up every item but this is from the brand classics and interior and i think i looked up comps but the reason i got it was when i felt it i'm like i don't think this is polyester i think that this is silk so i'm pretty sure this is the one that was silk but yeah this one is 100 percent silk and then the lining is polyester but how how cute and it is a little bit see-through so that's kind of a bummer but it's 100 percent silk on the outside and it's v-neck and these dresses are expensive brand new and it was 6.99 so we'll see how it does i just think it's really really pretty this pretty black it's kind of like a hawaiian dress you could wear it in the evening on a vacation that's what it reminded me of this classics interior silk dress sold on poshmark for 35 dollars so this next piece it stood out to me it was 6.99 Unique Vintage is the brand. It's a size 1012. And Unique Vintage sells vintage costumes. And this dress was around $90 to $100 brand new. And I saw them resold, selling for around $30 to $40. And since it's a biggerish size, it kind of has that peacock coloring sequins. Needed. I'm going to list mine for probably $40 and then go down from there. But this is like a flapper girl dress. Really exciting and like perfect for a costume party. This unique vintage flapper girl dress sold on Poshmark for $45. 
So I did take a quick look at the swimsuit section. It was very, very small, but this swimsuit looked like a quality piece. It is from the brand Longitude and it is a size 12, so a bigger size. And I saw these reselling on eBay for 20 to $30, but it was $6.99 and maybe I can get more for it. But it's just this nice one piece and black and white. It has breast cups right here, so perfect. And I'm excited to have more swimsuits in my inventory because I want to have a wide selection for people to choose from. I actually sold this swimsuit today on eBay for $22 the day that I'm editing this video. It was originally listed for $30. Someone offered me $10, which I thought was ridiculous because it was priced at $30. And I don't entertain offers that are less than 50% usually. But we went back and forth for a little bit and we landed on $22 and it sold. This is the last item in the second bag. <laughs> so we're going through it. We're almost halfway there or three fourths of the way there. This is, so this is from the brand Tarte and I have heard of Tarte before, but I saw this and I'm like, maybe I won't get it, but this is size medium. And what's great about it is it's kind of animal print, not really, but it's a jumpsuit and jumpsuits resell really well if they're a nice brand. The brand is Tarte. It was $6.99 and it kind of has this loose drapey waist. And I thought, wow, this is awesome. And it feels like it's made of cotton. doesn't feel like it's made of polyester. So a nice, breathable, perfect fabric for summer. This similar Tarte jumpsuit sold on Poshmark for $29. All right. So this next bag has a lot of jeans. I did spend some time in the jeans section. I got this pair of J. Jill denim. It's kind of this gray brown taupe kind of color. It's a size 14 tall and J. Jill in larger sizes does pretty well. It's a pretty good bread and butter brand. <laughs> bread and butter brand. <laughs> yeah, it, it's really nice and it doesn't have any perfection. So I'm gonna probably list mine for around $30 and make a good profit. It was $7.99. Here are some J. Jill Jean comps from eBay. They're selling for around $25. I'll save that item for last. I will show you guys, but it's so cool. I'm gonna save it for the very end. So this was a pair of Democracy Jeans, size 14 ab technology. And that's good because I think the ab technology does well. And I saw these selling for 25 to $30, but they're quick sellers and it's a big size. So I picked it up. Snatched that up, it's a nice black color. These black democracy jeans sold on Poshmark for $24. I wear jeans all year round. This next pair is another pair of democracy. It's size six, it's my size. They're cute. They have some distress mint and it does have the ab technology again, but decided to pick those up. And I think this last pair is democracy too, a size eight. So I got a size 14, six and eight. And they're all different shades, one was black, one was light wash and then this one's a dark wash and this one also is the ab solution just a really nice i actually i feel like they kind of look like capris maybe based on the length i don't know i'll have to look that up so that's it for the democracy jeans three pairs isn't that crazy that last pair of democracy jeans has already sold on poshmark for $22. I listed them for $25 and my Poshmark automation tool, Prime Lister, sent an offer to the first liker for $22 and discounted shipping. I think that I priced them too low and next time I'll price them at 30 instead of 25. I feel like when I find a good, a good brand at the thrift store, I find two or three more. Once I found eight Bowdoin dresses in a row at the thrift store, it was actually the same Goodwill and most of them were the same size. This is a Ralph Lauren shirt. It's a size 16 and a half. So I think that's a small size 32 to 33. And I don't know what this honestly goes for. I think Ralph Lauren, some sell for a lot, some sell for little, but it has the orange little logo in front. And I just thought it was very nice springtime color. So I'm gonna get this one listed right away because it reminds me of Easter and it's just really cute. It was $5.99 and I'm curious what, Blue labels sell for, they might be one of the cheaper browns, but anyway. Upon further research, I learned that Ralph Lauren blue label does not sell for a ton and the sell through rate on eBay is very low, but I'm still glad I picked up the shirt because it's a nice white and green color and it will eventually sell. They're selling for an average of $30 on eBay. 
Oh yeah. So I started off in the men's section. A lot of the stuff is the men's. So I guess I'm going backwards. I started showing you guys what I got last and then I'm ending with what I got first. So this is from the brand Grayers. Now they weren't selling extremely well and there wasn't very many listed on eBay. But what what I what was the selling point was it's it's large and it has this really cool print. It's like these Aquaman scuba diving. Honestly can't tell. It is a person with what what are those called? The things that go on your feet, the flipper things. And then I just thought it was a really cool print. And it was super fun. And it's red and yellow. So couldn't pass that up. The similar Grayers button up sold on Poshmark for $23. This next shirt is from the brand, the Territory Ahead, and it's a good size. It's an extra, extra large, 100% cotton, which is perfect for summer. I think that was the major selling point, but it is very bohemian, relaxed, and it's yellow and green and kind of this knit material, but it's breathable because it's cotton. So perfect for a men's vacation, and it was $6.99. These shirts on eBay are selling for around $25. Oh, so I was super stoked, stoked to find these. They're a pair of True Religion. The size is 28 and they're low waisted and they have such cool stitching, right? And I think the these jeans that have the really intricate stitching with different colors sells for more. But yeah, it's a nice pair of True Religion. It's called World Tour Jeans. And they're they're called the Joey. Yes, the Joey. <laughs> but yeah, how cute are these? They're really cool, honestly. And I'm excited to have found those. This pair of women's true religion jeans don't have the cool colorful stitching. And they sold on Poshmark for $30. So I'm thinking I can get mine for $35 to $40. Okay, y'all ready for the very, very last thing? I saw this. And I don't know the brand, but it's Top Grain Leather. And I saw these. I looked up Top Grain Leather on eBay and the sell through rate was not 100% but pretty high and it looks brand new and it's vintage it's top grain leather the inside feels it smells good too it honestly is brand new couldn't figure out which brand it's from but I'm just gonna list it as top grain leather vintage bag and it's really handsome honestly really really nice it smells new it smells good so this was the best find or I don't know if I'll make the most money from this of all the finds, but it was my favorite find. So fun and cool. And yeah. <laughs> Similar bags on eBay are selling for around $40. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope that you liked it. I love doing hauls, but I'm going to take a break from thrifting. Like I said, if you like this video, subscribe, like, comment. Um, so yeah, anyway, have a great day, you guys. Bye.